Hey, beautiful people, good afternoon to you. If you have not yet made Jesus Christ your personal Lord and Savior, please feel free to do so. He's the best being ever. Certainly, that would be the best decision that you would ever make. All right, beautiful people, I want to put an analogy, not really so much an analogy, but I want you to understand where I'm coming from with what I'm about to posit. Many of the social mayhem, social upheavals, the evil, the wickedness that we face in our land, not just crime and violence, but people's decadent hearts. We're talking about people being evil and wicked towards one another through uh, malicious envy and malignant jealousy. It is part and parcel or major part and parcel of the fact that they have not employed Romans chapter 12 verses 9 to about 21 thereabout and I'm going to paraphrase it entirely love one another esteem the other person above yourself there is a mantra that is portrayed that we must put ourselves above others actually that's not what the scripture says and we find that when we do that we're most miserable we're not happy we put on a form of happiness a, fo a form of joy because we have to live to be proving that i am very much important and you're not i wouldn't say that you're saying that the other, other person is not important but you're lauding yourself too much above what god would have expected you to do he asked the other person when he says the other person not necessarily a spouse but individuals especially good friends and so on to lift the other person above themselves and you lift that person above yourself and guess what happened both of us are on an equal level we don't need to lift ourselves the other person should do it that is what brings joy because right away now when we do that we are now employing what not just what, what the scriptures scripture says but we now can feel when somebody honors us. We now can really, you know, fathom when somebody cherishes us, when somebody loves us, when somebody respects us because they're showing it through their actions. So it's not just a spousal situation. It's not a command to spouse this. It's to regular platonic friendships and relationships. Esteem the other person above you. Go and read it. Go and read Romans chapter 12. And verses 9 to about 21 and you, t and you will see it. And if we were to do that, many of the evils in different forms that we face would have been tremendously mitigated. But naturally, we are selfish beings and we give in to that. And that is why the scripture, part B of the first commandment says, love your neighbor as yourself. So until we employ that, we will continue to see the decadence in our society. Guys, follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this message.